There is a Kenyan lady mwenyako US. Kuna msichana mkenya ako United States. Huyu msichana anaitwa Koi. Huyu ndio msichana mwenye alilik video ya Sharon. Yenye Shadow ali kwa captured akikunywa simu. Na hiyo video ilikuwa captured na mwenye alikuwa anafaa kumsaidia. Mimi ni msema kweli na mimi ninapenda ukweli. Sharon alikuwa na shida zake tu kama mwanamke. But the good thing before DJ Brownski namchukue alijua Sharon ako na hizo shida. Mabeshte za Sharon wengi walikuwa lesbian. Lakini Sharon alikuwa bisexual. By the time <coughs> in fact DJ Brownskin alikuanga na Sharon but alikuwa anajua Sharon alikuwa anapenda kukatia madim ye yeah, alikuwa tu bisexual. Anakatiana na bado kwa nyumba yake analimwa. Lakini niko na machungu sana na ma, list ya madim kumi na wawili. Jana nilimalizana na dem anaitwa Anji. Lakini sikumalizana na yeye kabisa. Ninarudi kwake tena. Anji Anji ni sista ya Nyambu. Nyambu ni mama ya msichana anaitwa Shaniz ama Slay DJ Brownskin. DJ Brownskin wewe ni takataka. DJ Brownskin wewe ni gasia. DJ Brownskin ulikula anji. Na asifu ya itoshi DJ Brownskin bado ukarudi ukakula mpaka Slay ambaye ni mtoto wa Nyambu. Hiyo kitu venye Sharon aligundua. Yaani DJ Brownskin ni fisi mpaka inakula mtu na anti yake. Anakula anji tena anakula mpaka ni wa anji Slay. Slay mtoto wa Nyambu. Na Nyambu wewe ulikuwa unajua vizuri anji ni beshte damu wa kufa kupona wa Sharon Shadodo fulufulu. Na bado na acha sister yako anaharibu nyumba ya beshte yake. Almasi na kupenda tena na kutambua sana. Kuna besti ya Shadow alikuwa anaitwa Almasi. Kama kuna dem aliumwa na kifo ya huyo dem ni Almasi. Almasi alilima punda wakiwa club lofti. Alishika punda, alipiga, alipiga nyambu mbaya sana. And I'm happy because you took it into your own hands to condemn an evil that happened while everybody else had the power to stop that evil. Sasa mimi nataka kueleza vitu chache. Sharon ameacha watoto wawili. Mmoja anaitwa Sherin Mumbi na mwingine anaitwa Travis. Huu Travis anaitwa AKA babake anapenda kumuita Popo. Ilifika mahali DJ Bronski na mikuwa toxic mpaka ana discriminate huyu mtoto anaitwa Sherin Mumbi kwa sababu hakuzaliwa ndani ya wedlock. Before Sharon na DJ Brownskin wa wane, Sharon alikuwa demia uh, mjaka fulani anaitwa Oposh. Oposh ndo baba ya Sherin. Kuna venye Oposh na DJ Brownskin bado nafanya research walikuwa mabeshte, walikuwa mabeshte. But sasa Brownskin through to hii ujanja ujanja zake na ukora zake ni kama alikuja ka convince nani? E, Sharon. Sharon akaachana na nani na Oposh but aliachana na Oposh kama washafanya nini? Washaza. Ndio akarudi akazalia DJ Travis nani? Mtoto mwenye anaitwa Popo. Of course relation ya Oposh na Sharon pia ilikuwa na shida zake juu. Oposh ni mtu wa kupiga piga bibi makofi wa kuchuna masikio. And I think it led to their separation na kitu kama hiyo. Last few days, last few months, a month or two before her death, Sharon miscarried. Na mimi ni mtu wa kusema ukweli. Sharon miscarried when uh, the truth about her medical condition came to her realization. Na ni kama aliona it is a mess yenyange live nayo. Relationship imeenda mbaya and above all anaenda ana uhusi aka confirm his worst fear which I am not going to mention in this conversation. The medical thing I am not going to mention. Sasa kuna dem anaitwa Su. Na kuna dem anaitwa Paris na kuna dem anaitwa Gaso. Nyinyi wasichana watatu na watambua lakini mnajua ukweli lakini mwezi toka na msemi ukweli. Na mimi ninashangaa. Mnaogopa nini? Mtatishiwa na nani? Unajua the best gift yenye mnaweza patia Sharon ni, ku, ni kusema ukweli members of the public hata kama law society of Kenya itakuja kuchukua hii maneno 
Munajua by the time by the time huyu dema nakufa vitu Sharon alisema vitu mtoto wake Sherin alikuwa anaambia mama yake mwenye anaitwa Sharon it was something that personally mimi mimi yani guys i'm telling you the truth it was very painful it was very shocking now the worst part of it ni kwamba even the ch the children were present during her last moment now may 21st 2022 Sharon called one of her friends. And akamwambia majamajo, mimi anji wamenimaliza. Anji amenimaliza kabisa. Kwa hiyo anji amekumaliza aje. Akasema imagine anji beshte yangu damu all along amekuwa kinidanganya na sahii wajana walikuwa tunnel, club inaitwa tunnel Kitengela and the true, the two true to her words slept together, smashed each other na wewe anji. Leo usiku I am going to leak all those nudes. Zawewe na DJ Brownskin. It is the truth that we must tell the members of the public. Friends, when you are not any friends, wako lakini ni madui. Wako wana kuchukia. They don't wish you well. They don't want to see you grow. Aki mabishite zangu, mungu wa suwapatie marafiki kama ude manaitua Angie. Now, Fiona, Mimo. Hmm. Mimo. Mimo, Mimo, Mimo. <laughs> Fiona. <laughs> eh. Fiona. Wewe umekula DJ Brownskin. Na unajua bibi yake. Na udojo mbaka watoto wake. Fiona acha mimi kuambia ukweli. Fiona ulikuwa demu wa DJ alikuwa anaitwa Chacha. Fiona sumekua demi ya DJ Chacha. Na DJ Chacha siyako na bibi. Na unajua mbaka bibi na watoto wa DJ Chacha. Fiona sikuna birthday ya watoto wa DJ Chacha ambayo uli attend. Na uliendanga baka na mtoto wako. Na wesi ndo the same same Fiona. Mwenye badu ulikuona unamove na DJ Brownskin. Kama si Sharon, mtu alipatianga DJ Brownskin akilia kukua mtu creative. Akilia kujib... Kama kuna mtu alibrand DJ Brownskin, ni uyu marehemu Sharon. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Sharon alikuwa anapenda baba yake sana. Adi Father's Day ama every Christmas, akikutana na mabeshte zake. Anapigia baba yake simu. Na analazimisha mabeshte wake wote waonge na baba yake. In fact... Sharon alikuwa napenda baba yake tuwa next end, akisha pati ya mabeshte zake simu wakaongea na baba yake, anawambia sasa mtumie baba yangu kitu, ndio mpate baraka. Na kwa baba ya Sharon, mimi nasema tupo ole sana, kenye ilifanyika siki tumzuri, mimi kama mkenya, mimi kama kijana mjaluo, mimi kama msema kweli, nimelaani hiyo kitendo kwa ile strongest term possible. Juhu tukisema ukweli, ata mtu haujui, Ukipata kama amegongwa na ukipata kama amegongwa na gari ama amekanyagwa na pikipiki lazima tu struggle usaidie huyo mtu ukipata kama hata stranger na umia mahali ya konja hata ili umpatie fea yako useme nimetembea leo mpaka kwa nyumba lakini nimeokoa mai maisha DJ Brownskin na Diki natoshana na toothpick mfupi mfupi kama ile kitu watu kama ile kitu wapishwe na tumianga kubadilisha samaki after Sharon amekujenga ulikuwa natumia gari ya Sharon Toyota Wish Sharon amekujenga Sharon alikuombea Sharon alisimama na wewe mbako kanunua Noah ndo kaanza kukua mtu ndo kaanza tushika kudo, kushika tudo mimi yes hata mimi hata mimi ni mwanaume na naweza cheza demu yangu lakini siweza siwezi cheza demu yangu na mabeshte wake wa karibu naweza cheza demu yangu Lakini siyezi cheza demi yangu na dema na mjua. Nata kama ni kucheza demi yangu. Eri ni mcheze na demrembo kumliko. Ye nyakiona at least anasema. Eh nyewe this time round uliamano ulikuwa. So ulichukua gunia ya maka. Unakula anji. Anji ni sister ya nyambu. Na bado shaniz ni mtoto wa nyambu. Sasa unakula mtu na nisu wake. Nyambu wene uko wapo tu umepanua umepanu, mzewe shosho 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 unapenda rege. Kazi yako ni shosho 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 unuza mademu kwa rege. Kwende ni uko, riswa, mushindwe, mulemewe, mchombo njini, watu ambaya, mumeka mstiano wa mtu stress, mumefanya maisha yake mekua ngumu baka mtoto wa mungu, mtoto wa mtu wa menda mejua. Awalaani na kila siku mkilala mumuone, na wasumbue mbaka na watoto wenyu. 
amewachia huyo mwanaume chukweni huyo mwanaume mfulosi na yeye mpige mashereve venye mnataka amekufa amewachia dunia sasa ni usi